bit of a ridiculous day filming wise, right, fellas? I gotta say, everybody, no organization from the rest of the crew here. I know I don't pay you a lot, but I don't ask you to do much either. Excuse me, we don't have an intro. We don't have an intro. Didn't we just call it a wrap? Who who said we were done without the intro? Did I I said we were done? Alright. Let's play the song, just start playing it, and then put put the episode number and like the episode title right here. I don't know what the title of the episode is. Dude, I'm just trying to make gains here. Just and then put my face like this. Right over there. Boom. Intro. <laughs> Hey everybody, it is Dak here for the Amp Boys, and welcome to episode 17 of the Road to 100 Mil Mobile Only, where I am starting off with 78 Magic while doing this Molten Glass life. This is it's a lot of Molten Glass. I, I knew I was choosing to do a lot of Molten Glass when I first started, but uh, this is a lot of Molten Glass. It's nice to get both Magic and Crafting gains, though. That will not be the last time you hear me say that this episode. I am going to be finishing up this Molten Glass during the episode, but not like right now. It's probably like the ending clip is going to be me finishing up the Molten Glass. So uh, let's, let's move on to other things. Hey, look at them carom wands. Nice little bit of extra cash coming in hot. I will be catching some more carom wands during this episode. Uh, it's a pretty good balance of AFK while getting some fishing XP, and I haven't done too much of the method yet, so I'm gonna crank out more of that. For right now, I'm buying back some of the Berserker things, some of the gear that I sold that I would like to still have for Nightmare Zone, at least for the next handful of levels that I'm gonna get. I wanna go back and train my defense a little bit more. Look at this, dude. Look at this, you bought a total of zero of zero? There's at least one in here, man. This isn't a selling offer where I cancel it or anything. I don't know, dude. $11 meme, I guess. Back to the nightmare zone life. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be doing some uh, defense life. Uh, as you can see, I, I splurged most of my points on my MBU Black Mask when I was here last time. So I only have a few potions for this run, but just like the strategy before, I'm gonna use a handful of, uh, I just use a handful of runs to collect up points again and eventually I'll have a full envy and whatnot. Oh, dude, I went one too many. 49 hit points, smooth. Already blown it. I'm just going to 70 defense. I'm not going to be in here for that much longer. I do plan on coming back to Nightmare Zone at one point with this account, but once I get 70 defense, I'm definitely out of here. So let's wrap that up quick. Look at that, dude. 69 defense with 69 40. If it was 69 69 XP to go, this would be the meme of the century. Um, I AFK pretty hard when I do Nightmare Zone. It's the main reason I do Nightmare Zone is so I can AFK, but I could have finished up just enough of a run to get 70 defense there. I'm not going to go for an extra run here for 70 defense. I'm going to go elsewhere for it. Yo, I still got some potions on me. Let me bring those potions back. Um, I'm gonna go to Ammonite Crabs, wrap this up, and we'll move on from defense life. Ammonite Crabs, how I love you. Very simple XP. You did the job for me. Alright, no no alerts, no notification on the level up, but 70 defense coming in hot. I can now wear Barrow's gear um, in general for range. Uh, I didn't want to be do training defense while doing range, and I plan on going to do more defense. So I want to wrap up the 70 defense first, and now when it comes to combat life, it'll probably be range next, but that's it for combat for right now. I mentioned I would do some more Karam Wands in this episode. Uh, I'm going to finish up the Karam Wand G that I have at the moment, and I'll probably end up catching even more of them. I think I'll do Karam Wands up to the 87 fishing mark, and then I'll end up doing some Sacred Eels for a little bit, though they're not the greatest right now in terms of rates, but uh, we'll still, you know, check it out and get some GP from that. But for now, I'm finishing up these Karam Wand G. Uh, I'm going to have to go catch more for sure. I don't have enough that I'm getting all the way to 87 fishing from what I've got now, but making some more AFK fishing gains. Alright, I am almost out of Canon 1G. I'm almost at 85 fishing. Basically made the jump from 84 to 85 fishing with the Canon wands that I've done so far. So another two levels would be nice. I am going to go back and catch more Canon 1G, but uh, you guys get this process at this point. And I don't think I'm going to be knocking out any more Canon wands from what I've caught with these. I have a few thousand in the bank and I'm going to be selling those at the end of the episode. So I, I think in just in terms of Canon wands and Canon wand footage, that is it for this episode, but I will be heading back to the Canon wand Gs and getting a stack of those. So next time you see me fishing Canon wand, I got a bunch of Canon wand Gs. Here's the, uh, the warning that I'm going to get them. All right, got to knock out some more questing life. Like I've generally been doing in most episodes, I want to get some quests out of the way. Uh, I want to get my barrels gloves done, but I don't like questing enough that I'm just going to sit down and do it all in a row. So let's get some of that questing life done. For this episode, I'm doing Shield of Arab right now. I am going to bring my alt Smeekabee to help me out because he has not done Shield of Arab. I can use my main for Heroes quests, so you're going to see my main helping me out too. But uh, 
We're doing Shield of Ra right now. My man Smeeks coming to help me out. Uh, oops, accidentally tapped it twice. I haven't played on Smeeks much recently. If you don't recognize the account, I made the account and originally did my flipping series where I flipped from 1k to 1 mil, Wolf of the Great Exchange. But uh, outside of that, I use it for some alt purposes, and he hasn't done this quest, so I decided Smeeks would be helping me out with this quest. But that's that's it for the Smeeks cameo. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Nobody set up? Brought this chair in here. Who decided that part-time means part of the job rather than part of the time? What? Let's just use the whiteboard today. All right, now that we have a place to film, an actual setup, thanks to me, the full-time employee, let's make a video. What? An outside scene? It's the middle of the night. All right, let's go do that. Okay, now that we got the outside scene done and we've fooled all of YouTube into thinking I go outside, let's actually, let's make a video here. Everybody behind the camera, I'm good with your ideas for now. I, I got it here. I got it. In the last episode, it's been a while, uh, I mentioned that the Bucks would win the NBA championship in seven games. And to be honest, the little bit of response that I got seemed to think that I was not only incorrect, but maybe out of my mind to think that. And instead, the Bucks would win the championship in six games. So I was wrong, but really wasn't that wrong. So I'm not that upset. What else do we have? I went to the All-Star game while I was gone. Was roll the footage. Uh, I didn't actually take a ton of clips at the All-Star game because not only is it packed, but everybody else who is there also wants pictures of themselves at the All-Star game. So instead of standing around in crowds and getting more footage of myself just playing, I also enjoyed the game too, to be fair. But the game was fantastic. I had a great time going there. And if I'm being realistic, there's a decent chance it's like the only All-Star game I'll ever even have had an attempt or a chance to go to. So I'm very, very happy that we went there and I had a great time. In terms of baseball news, now that it's been a couple of months since then, or however long it is, uh, we've got some, some playoff races happening, and boys going to be nervous about it, but uh, I guess for my prediction, uh, I don't think, I don't have a prediction that's going to happen by next episode, because I'm... I'm going with Yankees, Red Sox, and the wild card game. We're going to have another episode before then, though, but that's the next prediction I'll lay out on the line. Now that we're done talking sports, we can talk RuneScape. I don't even know if the editor is using the whiteboard, but I'm going to keep pointing at it just in case. I mean, you have the space to do as you please, editor. Honestly, in terms of in-game gains, we should probably just head back to the footage. I need to do quests and... I'm sure nine times during the quests I will explain to you why I'm doing quests. I want to get RFD done. And bro, quests are good to get done. Go watch my video, Quest Cape equals Best Cape. It's a clever title, isn't it? This is going to be Shield of Rav complete. Beautiful. Now I can go do Heroes Quest. I'm just about ready for Heroes Quest. I have one more level requirement to get first, but uh, Heroes Quest is going to be coming up. And that is a, a pretty solid quest to get out of the way. Specifically, it's a requirement for Recipe for Disaster, though, so... Um, and on paper, because you need a partner for Shield of Rob and Heroes Quest, I guess originally, each time I'm about to do it, I always feel like it's going to be a little bit more of a pain for that reason. Kind of easy to get done. This one especially, but even Heroes Quest, not too bad. I do need 25 Herb Lore to get Heroes Quest done. Honestly, cleaning herbs, for one, it makes money, and I'm trying to make 100 mil during this series, so it wouldn't be a bad option for that. And on mobile, it should be fantastic, but I'm just using a mobile phone uh, where I have fat enough fingers that it's not the easiest to clean herbs still. I feel like on a tablet, I bet it's fantastic. I have not necessarily tried that, but definitely my touch screen is not, uh, the inventory spots on my touch screen aren't necessarily, what's the word I'm looking for? Convenient for herb cleaning still. Not that it's bad, but just doing some potions to 25 is definitely the way to go. 25 herb lore is gonna be coming in hot, uh, and then we can move on to 
Hero's Quest, nice. Uh, again, you can make money with cleaning herbs, so I could potentially do some herb cleaning for this series. So, I mean, I might do more herb lore, but that was purely for this quest. Starting up the Hero's Quest life. This is kind of an iconic quest, right? Definitely the first time I did it as a kid, I was so proud of myself. And then I even remember one of my best friends growing up, his older brother, um, when his older brother got back into RuneScape, at the time this would be... Uh, not like old school RuneScape or even RS3, but not like RS Classic or anything, you know. But back in the day, still, uh, I remember the first time I ever saw my, my homie's older brother playing was right as he completed Heroes Quest, and I already had Heroes Quest done at that point. I remember thinking I was so good at the game, being like, I did Heroes Quest before my homie's older brother. Like, I was such a boss. Honestly, this quest really isn't that difficult. You, you don't have to be much of a hero to get it done, I guess. All right, dropping my key for my main. Uh, they did a good job by letting... Anybody who's completed the quest still helps somebody out with completing the quest. Just in general, I mean, there's always people making new accounts. You only need two accounts to get, like, Shield of Rob and Heroes quest done. So every other account that is made, the quest can be done. But requiring somebody else to do the quest, you can see where the slippery slope could be. Like, if you just ha if you could not, for the life of you, find somebody else to do this quest, you know how frustrating that could be. So it's helpful that a completed account can, uh, or a, an account that has completed the quest, not that my account's completed, but it has done Heroes Quest, can still help. It is a very good option that Jagex has given us. All right, main man, kill him. Kill him, yo. Did the window disappear as I started to fire through it? Yeah, look, every time I take a shot through that window, it disappears. What the? All right, well, thank you for the help, main. Heroes Quest about to be complete. Beautiful. Only one quest point for how difficult that is. Uh, I'm gonna end up cranking out some quests that are better for quest points, or maybe a couple at the end. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Because one quest point per quest ain't gonna cut it. Heroes is done, though. That's a fairly big milestone to get done with. In general, it is definitely a good box to check, but I got more quests to do. Jagex with their in-game gambling. Uh, I'm doing the Death Plateau quest at the moment. I, I do enjoy this gambling part. A little bit of dice rolling. I would continue do this, doing this after the quest, even if it maxed out to like 5k an hour. Even if it was House Always Wins and you always lost your money. Ooh, Harold with the 6. Oh my god, Harold with the 12. You have to be kidding me. All right, take back what I was saying. I was being happy about this content and I like gambling. Uh, roll the dice. Here we go. Six? Yo, am I gonna tie? Two, never mind. <laughs> Alright, dude, he cheated. He got a 12 out the gate. I'll still win this. I'll still win this. Oh, the three. And the three? Come on, baby. This is an easty win. I already got one. We should be out of here. Oh, that's it. Guarantees it by rolling the six first. That's enough, right? I think I have... He owes me plenty of money at this point. He's ran out. He gives me the IOU. I gotta say, the gambling is uh, is a fun mechanic. It was another one I remember as a kid being like, what if I lose all my money to this guy? Nah, it's easy. It's easy. All right, this is the end of Death Plateau. Uh, another quest complete in the line of what I need to get done. Also, some steel claws. Sweet, dude. Ah, uh, time for the dad fight. What a classic fighting with your dad. Um, This is, I keep bringing up as a kid. I remember as a kid. All right, everybody, we've hit an interesting turning point here. You tell me, am I either A, going to give an interesting or non-interesting RuneScape anecdote about how I felt as a kid on this quest, or B, explain how much I used to have to fight my dad as a kid? Just, you know, let me know in the comments section below. Not doing this quest for a while because we had to fight this monster. I think what it comes down to with this one, I underestimated for a long time, uh, just really didn't understand that uh, protection prayers, overhead prayers, are so broken. Something like Protect from Melee can win the fight just by itself, really, so. Definitely as a kid, I would just straight up see, like, I'm level 70 combat and this thing's level 100. Ah, might be tough, rather than, well, it's only gonna use one attack style and not do any damage to you, bro. Chill. Easty fights. It's alright. I choose to spare Dad. Honestly, he's just doing his job out here, the fact that he fights you. Like, he literally lives in the arena. How am I supposed to be mad at him for that? This is gonna be Troll Stronghold complete. I feel like Troll didn't come out right there. Troll Stronghold. Uh, this is a- yeah, okay. I'm like, we are finishing the quest, right? Ooh, a law talisman, I can now make law runes, don't plan on doing that at all. Uh, more quests coming up. Actually, I'm disappointed in the quest points I've gotten, so I'm gonna do some quests that give more quest points than this, maybe. Black Knight's Fortress, this is an easy choice. Uh, very, very simple quest to do, and it's three quest points. Pretty much built just to give quest points, though I'll admit, 2.5k, very nice. Thanks for the extra cash, too. Three quest points. And it only took a few minutes, so that's kind of nice. Uh, 108 quest points, we've been going up. I'll knock out another one, hold on. Monk's Friend about to be complete. Beautiful. This is another really easy one, though. Uh, this is only like one quest point, but... I really should just get this out of the way. Yeah, I, I like to party as much as the next guy, but I'm looking to bounce. What are we, what are we doing here? Now, Monk's Friend completed. Uh, I got some woodcutting XP that really wasn't necessary. Let's pop some balloons, might as well. 
Uh, the extra quest point done... A, a decent chunk of quests done at this point. It's taken up like half the episode. I, I think I'm gonna bounce. I think I'm gonna bounce. JK, let's get Witch's Potion done too. This is another super quick one. I uh, saw it on the list when scrolling through, so... Might as well knock it out. Any more quest points that I can get. One extra quest point even. Um, it's getting me closer to Barrow's Glove, so I'll take it. So. Many. Buckets. 73 crafting coming hot. Nice. Nothing like a good old Bodhi number. Uh, honestly, 99 crafting, one of the nicest capes to get out of the way, but just getting to 99 crafting using money-making methods doesn't sound fun either. So as much as I'm just trying to get a higher crafting level while making money, I don't know. I don't think I plan on getting 99 like during this series at all, though that cape would be fun. Just about done with the buckets. Finally wrapping it up. Only a couple more inventories to do here. Uh, honestly, this isn't that bad of a process, but on mobile, I definitely like it less than on PC. Doing this with my mouse is much better than tapping, but I got some magic XP and crafting XP. Those are generally skills that you would think uh, cost you money, and I was making money while doing it. I'm out of astral runes, as you can see there, so uh, I gotta bounce. I didn't get enough astral runes because occasionally, like, if I tap on the seaweed three times and only get two because I messed up, I still use an astral rune for only two-thirds of the supplies that time, so... I ended up not getting through all the supplies. Not that big of a deal. I'm going to go start selling a bunch of things. Let's get an idea of what the cash stack is looking like. All right, selling off some of the gear that I don't plan on using for a while, if ever, at this point. And then, of course, the Canon Wands that I have caught and the Molten Glass that I made. This should bump up the cash stack here a little bit. And I still have a few items in the bank that are worth a decent amount of cash, like my whip, for instance, that I don't plan on selling right now. So I'll take those out, too, and we'll get a decent-looking price check for the end of the episode here. Yo, dude, I'm just trying to price check here. I could put the Molten Glass in the price check, but we're so close to selling it. I'll drop the price just a little bit again. Um, it's not a huge deal. Drop it one or two coins, even 22,000 a piece. If I make 50 less K, 100 less K from this is something I can make up for. But at the same time, if you're like about to log off and not be playing, then you might as well be selling things for a little bit higher too. You never know. So for right now, I, I have no problem with dropping the price a little. All right, let's take a look at a, a general, this is not a full bank value, but a general bank value here with my most expensive stuff. Yo, 23 mil is not too bad. Actually, we're almost a quarter of the way here to the hundo, and the early money-making efforts of any account are not nearly as powerful as the, the later money-making methods. So to have as much money as I have currently when half of my efforts have been going into just leveling up and questing too, I'm happy with where we're at. The levels are looking fairly solid here. Ended up with 74 crafting, 78 magic from the buckets. Uh, the 13, 13 total level, not bad on the gains, but still plenty more gains to go. I am going to start wrapping up this episode here. Uh, I'm buying some steel bars first because I want to do uh, some more cannonballs. I want some more AFK life. I'll have more AFK life with cannonball G and whatnot too, but I got these cannonballs or these steel bars buying for now. I'll knock these out during the next episode, maybe an episode and a half. You'll see me selling off some cannonballs. That is wrapping up this episode though, everybody. We got a decent money check and stat check at the end there to show that progress has been happening, but progress could be quicker. So I'm going to try to knock it out even quicker for the next episode, make even more money out of it. Uh, still be looking at quests and leveling up. Uh, in general, I might be back to that Slayer life. So uh, Slayer in range. I'm not, I'm not at a point that that's making a ton of cash, but if I keep leveling up, it will start making more cash. So I, I've got things on the list to do, but I'm wrapping up this episode here. Thank you very much for stopping in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and best of luck on your mobile gains. Making gains, man, making gains. An outro idea? No, I don't have an outro idea. You are the outro idea, people. I just play. We need an outro? Look, I don't have time to be coming up with the idea for the outro. And honestly, I don't even know if I have time to be filming the outro. Sometimes talking about the game just doesn't equal playing the game. Do you understand? I have to set up the equipment half the time, and you still expect me to be able to make in-game clips? People don't click on the video to see me take my shirt off. They click on the video hoping that I will put my shirt back honestly, on. Honestly, gains, they're my life. And I'm behind on those gains. And really, I should be embarrassed about that, but here I am. I got nothing else to say. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to play old school RuneScape Mobile. One of you figures out the outro, okay? Wait, what?